What's going on, everybody? I am Party B, and welcome back to Green Hell. This is episode four. My voice just cracked. <laughs> and um, today we're going to be brewing some ayahuasca to try to progress the story. But before we jump in, I did make a couple changes to the base after I recorded the last episode. For some reason, this drying rack wasn't allowing anything to dry. So I thought maybe it was broken because we put the chest here. So I built another one over here. Turns out that whenever it's raining, your food doesn't dry. Well, no f***ing shit. So I built roofs over top of both of these to keep that dry. And I ended up needing more storage. So I went ahead and made some storage. So we've got a couple different storage. Here's our bandages and stuff. And this one over here has stuff that we're going to be smelting and stuff that I'm not sure what to do with yet. So first thing we need to do is figure out what we need to make the ayahuasca with. So right here, we need some of the Banisteropisis kepi, some Psychotria. As far as I know, that's it. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to search around and find those things. Also, um, I, I decided to build this like little storage area here because I kept j falling off that ladder and it was getting really annoying. So I wanted to build this so I could just jump up onto it. Um, and during that process, we amassed a lot of leaves. So we might be using those for something in the future. But while I was doing this and doing the building, um, Screaming Harry was back. He's obviously not here right now, unfortunately, but he was back around and yelling at me. Oh gosh. You know, that's fantastic. Okay. We went the entire last episode. That legitimately scared the hell out of me. Um, without taking any damage or doing anything like that. So, can't use that. Can't use that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any of the uh, other bandages. What you doing, buddy? Yeah, twerk it. Maybe that's why Screaming Harry isn't around, because he knew that thing was uh, coming after me. Okay, there's something wrong with this. Oh, fan friggin tastic I don't have anything to, uh, to fix this with. Oh my gosh, that really sucks. We're gonna need to go and find a beehive or something to use. And I know where one usually is, so we're gonna head straight for it and not worry about anything else right now. Um, because we are uh, going to get infected, and hopefully we can find some of the stuff we need for the ayahuasca on the way. Boy, now every like little thing is starting to freak me out whenever I see it out of the corner of my eye. We might end up not making this. We might pass out before we get there. God, I'm thirsty. Oh no. There's no beehive. Crap, 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 crap. I don't know where any other beehives are. I know I've ran across a couple, but I don't know where they're at. Um, okay, so here's some of the stuff that we need for the ayahuasca. Wait. Can I... Question. I'm curious. Can I use these to, like, eat the infection? <gasps> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's so gross. And unfortunately, I can't put anything else on it right now. But we're pretty close to the, um... The first camp, I think. It's good to know, though. We could put maggots on our flesh to take care of the infections. Oh, I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, and I passed out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy, we got worms. I guess it kind of gives us the chance to actually check and see how this works. Um, it's disgusting though. Oh, needle. Ew. Oh, we got worms there too. We need to, I'm just going to sleep for a little bit, get our energy back up a hair, and then we're going back to base so we could fix this. I'm just falling apart. I had such a good run the last episode, like nothing bad happened at <laughs> all, oh, and that stinking jaguar coming out of nowhere just royally screwed me. We're going to go ahead and store these, maybe? Yeah, I mean, we're going to go ahead and store them in this box here. What's this? Lily, that's tobacco. Let's take one of those just in case. We'll put you in there too, just in case. Take one of you just in case. Okay, so now we need to go and find that other plant. There was one at some points down in this area. Hopefully it still grows. No, I'm not seeing it. Ooh, is this it? Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay. So how much do we need to make of each of these? Like, I need to go back to this camp over here and see, like, if it tells me how much I need. Because I don't want to just get there and then assume that I need only one. <laughs> I did it. Okay, so it's telling me that I need to take the vines of this tree here and um, I've got to pound them 
into something. I don't know if that just means like I've got to harvest them and boom, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and start the fire. We've got kind of everything that we need. Get this fire going and then see if it'll let me do anything with it. Hey, what are you doing here? H hey, wait! What the... <laughs> hey, kid! Where are you? Where... Where am I? Hello? Do you remember how we got here? Mia? Is that you? First contact is always difficult. They're extremely weary. I, I don't remember anything. You, you were calling to me. I ran out of the tent and... They have to. Civilization is killing them, and we don't even realize it. Mia. Yeah. Maybe it would have been better if I just died back then. Mia, yeah. I... When the American colonization began, the conquistadores brought their diseases here with them. Many tribes were wiped out, and the rest moved even deeper into the jungle. Chief Kuini went on and on about whole generations of his ancestors being decimated, until they received a gift from the jungle. And me? <laughs> Naively, I assured them about our good intentions. I just wanna... Jake? Come in, please! I need you! Mia? Wait! I'm here! you. 